or they put us in tough positions with um, Lopez rolling. So we had to protect that. Closeouts were good. He just, he, Connington made two big threes, and, but we came back and, and had our share of uh, looks and makes. Um, big play. I thought Gaff, I think we're down two. And it's a bang, bang play. Those are tough calls for the officials, but I, obviously when you look at it again and after the game, you can see that in slow motion, it's different than what we, what you see it live, but it's a good game. It was a good game. This is this team, you know, for three years in a row now, they've had, they've had championships, uh, talent. They got, they got everything. They got everything. And we battle, they got some injuries. We got some injuries, but it was just a hard fought game and came down to the last possession. I know you like to run the three center rotation. It was pretty much partitioned equally tonight. What do you think? Do you think Daniel is warranting of more playing time? Yeah. Fred. Scott, you mentioned uh, that play where Daniel went up twice under the basket late. Did, uh, did you consider using your, your challenge on that play? And uh, if, if so, why why did you go against it? Well, you can't use the challenge. It wasn't called, was it? I guess you're right. That is true. And the ball went out. I mean, he did knock it out. But he, he I mean, that, that play did not lose the game. It would have gave us two more free throws. But they made they made those two big threes were huge. But we, we covered it as, as well as we can cover it. And Connaughton stepped up and made two contested threes. And like I said, it was a one thing about the group that I know, you know, every game we're, we're competing. We played 20 games in a row, I think, or close to it that either we won or it came down to the last possession of the game. And not a lot of teams can say that. Even the, even the championship ready uh, teams, they're, they're getting beat in some blowouts. But if we, we're competing, we're battling, we're not making excuses what we don't have. But like I said, this game was, it was a great game. Unfortunately, we've been a couple of these did not go our way, but a couple of them gone our way during this stretch. And and just bigger picture, how how have you seen Russell and Brad progress in terms of their on-court chemistry? How have you seen that progress during the season from the beginning of the year to where they're at now? Well, the, the good thing about, I mean, I, I knew I knew um, Russell going into the to the trade, and I knew there wasn't going to be a problem. I mean, Brad Brad didn't know, but he trust Brad has a trust in me, and I knew it would work. Um, it's been great, you know, Russell's, Russell's a team guy. Brad is an amazing player. They, we got, we got two good leaders that have taken us this far and they're going to continue to take us. You know, Brad's an all-star, Brad's a all, all NBA guy, uh, has a chance to lead the league in scoring, but Russell and everybody, we got a good group of guys that work hard and we just got to keep building and, and play like we've done. Zach. Coach, what happened uh, with Chandler? We know he was out for the game, but you know, what was the injury? How did he, how did he get it? I think he bumped, I think he bumped knees, knee to knee bump. I don't know how serious it is. Uh, I saw him icing it after the game. And obviously without Rue, you kind of had to go by committee to replace his minutes. So your rotation was up to 11 guys tonight. Do you, do you feel like you're going to, you know, have to shrink it eventually with the play in and, and all that upcoming and this final stretch or just game by game? That's game by game, you know. Yeah, we don't know. Rui's not playing tomorrow night, so everybody has to be ready and step in. But uh, like I told the guys after the game, minute one is just as important as minute 48. And you can't relax. We got a lot of guys that we can move in and out of the lineup. So if you're tired, come out. And you should be tired. If you play hard with maximum effort, you should be tired. And guys have to be ready. Your minutes have to be hard playing minutes and and we got to do a uh, we're gonna have to do that this rest of this trip uh with guys out you're you're normally in about a sweet spot 12 to 19 or so minutes does does the low minutes load for all three of you guys does that affect the way you play in terms of the way you use your fouls and and that kind of stuff um in my opinion no i mean i just come off the bench and try to be ready to play as much as i possibly can try to have my body ready, try to have my mental ready and just be able to come in and do what I can do to help the team win.
And uh, on that on that late play tonight with 30 or so seconds left when you when you went up twice at, at the rim, did you think you got fouled there? What, how would you describe that play? Um, most definitely thought I got fouled. But I mean, it's basketball. I mean, reps miss calls all the time. Really not too much worried about that. I should have just really just passed up the ball at the end there. Russ was right beside me. Um, that would have been a smart play instead of trying to go up with that last um, with that last layup attempt. I mean, it really just cost us the game, to be honest. Anyone else? Yeah, I, I got I got one more. Uh, Daniel, just with the way you guys are playing, I know I know you lost tonight, but in your last 16 games or whatever it is, you have something like that, 14 games, you have three losses, and all three of those losses have been super close. It was the Spurs game, the Dallas game, and the and the Bucks game. How do you how do you put that in in perspective? Is that is that encouraging that you guys have been kind of that close even in the games where you haven't been all the way there? Yeah, I mean, you know, it it would be great if we would if we would have pulled through those three games that we lost. I mean, but at the same time, throughout most of the time that we like of all the games that we played since I've been here, we took care of business with the wins that we have. But those three losses, it's just we just came up short. You guys in your last 14 games have three losses. All three of those losses have been by one possession. Um, what do you what do you make of that? Is that is that encouraging? Do you do you feel like those are lost games? What do you what do you make of that? How that's turned out? Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, for this opportunity. Um, but honestly, I think it's it's a little bit of everything. Is is definitely telling. Of, of the growth we've shown and you know uh in years past a lot of those times we were down big in the games or you know we had good leads and we've sustained sustained runs and kept ourselves in the game and uh you know we made plays down the stretch but I think it's you know we can definitely take a lot of good out of them versus bad granted you know it's all I think definitely Mavs game always put on my shoulders because I feel like I could have I could have closed that one out tonight was was a little bit tough we could have could have got a whistle here and there but you know uh, you know I think we did enough tonight to win we made some big plays down the stretch too and even uh, the play I made and Gaff got the rebound it was just we had opportunities um, then the other game I forget what it was but you know we we have you know we, we're putting ourselves in positions to win you know uh, we're getting better with executing and closing out down the stretch, but obviously like you, you know, we can be better. Uh, but it's definitely a positive. I, I look at it as a positive. You know, we've we've been really good over our last 16, so can't complain. And and speaking of how he, he had some plays tonight where he's matched up against Giannis and, and he's kind of guarded different positions for you guys this year. And and he seems to fare pretty well. What what allows him to be good in those scenarios in spite of his size? Well, I call him Wolfman. So, you know, his his name is sounds like a wolf with owl. So uh, you know, we just we howl all night and he just has that grit and grind and that mentality that, you know, he's he's gonna play hard, he's gonna play tough. Um and I've seen him in the weight room. He can throw up some weight. So, you know, he he holds his own, he he embraces his body, embraces his work ethic. And, uh, you know, we, we trust everybody to be versatile. You know, we trust each other to, you know, accept challenges, guard bigger guys, guard smaller guys, faster, quicker, whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, depend on each other to help each other out too. Ava. Hey, Brad. Um, you've talked so much about the energy that Daniel Gafford brings, but when he comes in late to a game like he did tonight, what kind of effect does that have on you? Do you look at him and say, like, okay, I know how to shift my offense now to kind of get us a couple more easy buckets for him? Uh, yeah, I mean, we we adjust to every big that comes in. I'll, I think all three of our bigs have something unique and, and different about them that they bring to the table. Um and we utilize them, you know, granted, it's, it's all about coaching his feel and who he, who he wants to go with, you know, in that moment, uh, you know, and he went with Gaff late in the game and Gaff, I mean, they were small, they were very small at the end of the game. And even when Giannis got his sixth, they were still kind of small. So uh, I don't, you know, coach wanted to maybe be a little bit more athletic, switch one through five. And, you know, uh, he trusted Gaff to do that. We all trust Gaff to do that. Um, and, you know, it was just a decision. So. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't necessarily change 
um, you know, kind of how we play offense. It, it definitely, you know, makes things a lot easier knowing you have a lob threat, you know, and a guy who can go get off of some boards and, and, uh, and, and really jump and get the ball. So uh, it helped. It helped. And what was working well for you individually tonight at 42? Uh, have fun. I enjoy the game. Enjoy being who I am. Enjoy being here. Enjoy every moment of it. And I just got back to the joy of the game. Steve. Just wondering, what's been the difference for y'all these last 15, 16 games or so? Why have you been playing so well during this stretch there? Uh, one, I always say we're healthy. You know, uh, I always credit that. You know, it always helps and it's beneficial when you have a full roster. Um, you know, guys aren't, aren't on minutes. and uh, But, you know, we, we definitely credit our, our mindset. You know, I think it's our approach to the game, you know, uh, night in and night out. And we follow Russ on that. Uh, just having that mentality of knowing that we have to bring it every night, knowing that uh, we have a great opportunity in front of us to make a run, to make a push. And I think we're just capitalizing on it. You know, we're not, uh, we're not saying we're too high, we're not too low. We're just, you know, we're taking it a day at a time, literally, and, uh, and trying to get better by the day. That's all we can do and that's all we can control. So uh, it's been great the last 16, but obviously we got to finish out the last six, seven stronger. Zach. Brad, we haven't really been able to ask you about uh, Russ's chase for Oscar at this point. It's not really much of a chase anymore. I mean, he's on his heels about to catch him, you know, by the end of the regular season. Um, how special has it been to witness what he's done over the past, you know, couple months and, and just kind of be, have a front row seat to it? Well, I'm, I'm definitely honored that I was a part of it. I was a part of some of those assists and, you know, some of those accolades that he'll get. And to witness it and one to be on the other side of it, to see him do it night in and night out against you, uh, that was always tough. But then, you know, to be a part of it and witness him do it, you know, for your team is, is on a whole new level. You know, I have a whole new found respect for him and his approach to the game and who he is as a player. Um, and, you know, it's just a testament to who he is. You know, it this was... I think when you guys mentioned it a while ago, I, I was I was saying he'll break it this year. And I think a lot of people had questions in the air whether he would, but you know, I think that uh it's definitely an easy, easy thing in the bag almost, uh, so to speak. So, you know, I'm definitely happy that I was a part of it and I got to witness it and uh hopefully for more to come for sure. All right, we'll take a couple more. Christos. Brad the uh you lost in Dallas with one point, uh, and you respond in the next game against the Pacers. Now you lost in one uh, point in Milwaukee. Now you have a game in Toronto against the Raptors. How important for you is to bounce back after a tough loss like this? Uh, we don't really have a choice, Christos. Uh, you know, we we play in less than 24 hours, so you know it's that's the job we have, and you know we can't really heckle on what happened tonight. We obviously know we wanted to win. We lost by one. Uh, we don't do moral victories, but, you know, we, we we can take a lot of positives out of tonight and, you know, kind of throw the bad out because there were some some mishaps we had. But uh, for the most part, we understand that Toronto is also a team trying to make a push. And, uh, you know, so when we look at it a game at a time, we understand that, you know, they're right on our heels and they're trying to make a push, too, for this plan. Uh, you know, it's our job to keep them from doing so. The way that you fight until the end of the game is a part, is a sign of a growth as a team. Yeah. For sure. Uh, you know, it's, it's just, like I said all the time, it's a matter of us being healthy uh, and, and us just honestly sticking it out and, and figuring it out on the, on the floor. You know, it's, I really couldn't tell you what game it was that it started clicking or, you know, when it, you know, everybody just started, you know, playing really good together, but it clicked and we stuck, we stuck with it, you know, and I think that that sign of growth definitely is, is um, embraceable. And, you know, we, we definitely look at it as a positive and, and we're just got to continue to build on it. You know, we, everybody loves to win. Winning brings great attitude. Winning brings happiness. And, you know, that's where we've been the last month and a half, two months. So, you know, we just got to continue to do that and build on it and finish strong. All right, last question, Neil. Hey, Brad, about your guys' photo shoot last week, 
Where did that idea originate from? How did that all come together? Uh, my girl, Sash, actually brought it to our attention and she, uh, you know, definitely pitched it to our team. And it was one thing that we kind of just took and ran with it and said it was, it was definitely different. It's something that we wanted to do. We all agreed upon doing. Um, and we definitely, we see it, yeah, we're basketball players and, you know, we did a lot of things in a bubble last year, but, you know, the fight for, for, for equality, for accountability, for justice, you know, all of that is still in play, you know, for everything that's still going on in the world, you know, we're still, we're still in the forefront of it, you know, so, you know, we're just making sure that people don't forget, you know, because it's still an ongoing fight every day.